Hello guys, what's up? Your Tito Jamski here once again with a new video. RF Online is a classic MMORPG of three races clashing against each other for dominance. The game was released here in the Philippines way back 2006, if I remember correctly. But did you know that CCR, the game's developer, was supposed to release an RF Online 2? <laughs> The war under the name of descent being faded due to greed. RF Online was accepted positively by its fan base during the golden age of MMORPGs here in the Philippines. The game was even running concurrently with big MMO brands such as Ragnarok Online, Cabal Online, Ran Online, and many more. Managed by then Level Up Games, RF Online was one of the most successful MMOs during that time. Event tournaments such as Boss Time Attacks and City Under Siege were held from computer shops not just here in Metro Manila but also as far as Bacolod, Cebu, and Cagayan de Oro. Events were jam-packed with players and tournaments lasted even until early morning the next day. But even so, all good things must come to an end. After several years in the spotlight, RF Online started to be plagued with controversies. From under the table GM issues, the PHP boys of RMT, and the downfall issue of the game, the duplication of items. The duplication of items is the issue which was heavily incorporated with the closure of the server. It was rampant, it was everywhere, it was unstoppable. Uh -oh. I'm not going to dwell into details of this hack, but yes, this is the major cause of the RF Online Philippines downfall. And in June 25, 2013, RF Online Philippines officially closed its server. Here is the server closure statement. However, it was revealed some time ago that CCR has registered a trademark for RF Online 2. This was way back 2016 if I'm not mistaken. It was supposed to be a downloadable software title that is being made for multiple platforms including virtual reality. We even got to see a video of RF Online Planet Wars which was supposed to be included for a future update. RF players were more excited back then because of that announcement, holding to hope that RF Online will be revived with a new experience. Recently, Netmarble has acquired the rights to RF Online and has made waves because of an announcement that soon, RF Online will be coming to your mobile phones. Thank you so much for watching our video today and if you like it, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and of course, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you so much and we will see you again in our next videos.